Hey, welcome back. Riggs here. How you doing? Good, good. Uh, yeah, on the final score server, playing some multiplayer survival. And this is my big project I've been kind of getting back to work on over here, trying to get organized. And I think I'm uh, making some progress. You know, the um, thing about Minecraft and... Uh, it's a nice little sneaky way down here. The thing about Minecraft and real life is, you know, if you start off without a plan... Sometimes things will get to a point where you'll realize that, um, you know, maybe you needed a, a little bit more of a plan and you might need to backtrack a little bit. Uh, of course, you know, if you wait until your plan is, you know, finally, uh, you know, totally crystallized and um, solidified and totally perfect, you might not ever get started. So anyway, I have found myself with a few of these decisions that I made in the early stages of this project uh, to <laughs> not work out with my current plans. So um, this is one of these sections where I had this kind of area as a uh, grand main entrance. I don't know, this kind of wraps around, but this is going to be one of the main entrances with like a big uh, hallway here. And since then, you know, things have changed. So this is going to be a big aquarium. And so I'm going to need to you know, make this whole area kind of ready to be a big bathtub, essentially. So let me show you what I did up here. I told you I needed to make a little bit of an office, and I have done so here. Kind of a nice spot to look out at things. You can always hear the water running in this place. If if you have to go wee-wee, this is not a place for you to hang out. Or uh, Anyway, <laughs> but uh, eventually I am going to fill this, this up with um, water. This is going to be kind of the water line right here. So if you think about it, where the water line is going to be, um, you have to think about where where there's going to be uh, cracks in the tub. Um, oop, crash. And uh, yeah, that is one of the areas there. So I need to fill that in with glass. And I have some holes in the ground, which I think this is going to end up being like an underwater kind of uh, grotto down there. So I'm going to leave that so it can be filled with water. But over here is this crazy tunnel. I'll show you in a second. I don't really know what my plan was. <laughs> Every now and then I dig these strange tunnels. So I'm going to block this off with um, <laughs> with something. And uh, yeah. And I've started to do a floor here using, uh, you know, this is going to be like the bottom of a big uh, aquarium and been using end stone because I think it has a nice kind of corally texture and then obviously I'm going to use some of the new coral blocks once uh, it's filled with water which I'm going to do sort of uh, sort of soon I think I want to fill it up with water before I start building it um, and this is going to be the border of where the water is going to uh, be divided so I don't know if this is gonna be a glass wall I might use sugar cane I have some ideas so I have to figure that out but yeah, there's a lot of sort of structural, whoops, uh, <laughs> structural things I need to do around here as far as kind of connecting areas. And I've been kind of working on that. But um, before I get, uh, and before I show you too much more over here, I wanted to show you what I was working on last time, which was adding some color uh, to the, uh, the stairway that I built and um, that other area that I was working on. So uh, yeah, let's go over there. All right, back here at the main base. And uh, yeah, that thing in the middle is going to be a stairwell. Uh, not as like a stairwell, but like a well made out of stairs. Um, and uh, yeah, we're back here at the main base. And last time, uh, previously on uh, whatever you want to call this, Riggs Craft, dig, Digs Craft, there you go. Um, I, I made a stairway um, connecting this kind of main office area which, by the way, this chaos is got to go. I need I need a better storage sort of main area. This is a sorting system, obviously, over here, which needs to be expanded. But this kind of central area needs to <laughs> needs to be fixed. It's mass chaos. Anyway, uh, over here is where I built the stairway, which was uh, and still is pretty white. Um, it's all quartz and iron and using <laughs> beacons as lighting. Um, and then what I did was obviously I took dark prismarine, which used to be my f favorite block, uh, sort of hands down, but I gotta say, I'm not crazy about the new texture, but I kind of made this sort of curving snake shape, 
uh, leading down the stairway. And I don't know. What do you think? Um, I don't. I don't hate it. I'm not sure. I love it. Uh, the stairway was plenty busy to begin with. Uh, I'm not sure if I needed to make the color so, you know, the design so kind of busy as well. Maybe in a more uniform way would be good. I want to kind of add some color on the sides here. So I'm going to continue to work on that. One thing, another thing I wanted to show you, I was just quickly going to continue to work on is this is um, iron collection for two iron farms up there <laughs> that is uh, got to be upgraded. I'm going to send it upstairs using one of the new water streams um, and I think that'll be good. But then over here also had a little thing I wanted to show you um, that I was adding on to over in this room, which was, um, yeah, I did, did some bucket fishing. So I have tropical fish <laughs> in there. Let me get a couple of uh, blocks to build up on. Um, yeah, so yeah, some tropical fish. I'm trying to get all the different kinds. There's like 30 different kinds. There's rare ones. And yeah, so I have a couple of shulker boxes full of them, which is kind of fun. And uh, over here, just as a reminder, if in case uh, people besides my daughters are watching, <laughs> if you want to give me your Minecraft username, you could be added to the wall, put your head on the wall. It won't hurt a bit. <laughs> Um, and yeah, just give me your Minecraft username and I can rename a wither skull. It's kind of a thing we do on the server here. We can use wither skulls instead of real skeleton skulls. Um, yeah, but anyway, uh, I'm going to get back to work and add some more color to the stairway. going to kind of go for maybe version two and, uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes, but yeah, just for the record. Here's version one. I'll give you another, another quick view. Leave it like that. And version two. Yeah, I think I definitely prefer version two. Yeah, it's a cleaner look. Uh, this the the design with the stairs and the slabs is busy enough without having kind of a more random color pattern. So I think that's good. And I added the, obviously you've used the glazed uh, terracotta, which kind of ties it into the room that it's leading to and put some of it on the sides and then did glass on this side so you can look into the old part of the base. So I think that works. And, um, oh, I died. Um, <laughs> I don't die very often. And uh, so I died and I want to show that to you because it's kind of funny how it ended up. So I'll show that to you and then I'll be right back. Okay, yeah, here's the situation. This little guy has my gear now. So what I need to do hmm, is uh, get some sort of a weapon before he comes and chops at me. There we go. Do I have an arrow? I think I do. <gasps> okay, I think problem solved. Problem solved. It's going to be okay. You look good in my gear, but I look better in it. So... Man, yeah, it had been a while since I had died, but uh, that's what you, that's what happens when you go AFK with these phantoms. Haven't been used to it. Looks pretty good at night, though. All right, let's get back to work. Yeah, you get so used to being able to go AFK um, in certain areas, but uh, not anymore with these phantoms. You got got to be careful. Um, yeah. So anyway. Um, yeah, I've been kind of busy back here making a lot of these sort of walkways. I have a crazy idea of making a kind of a rail cart ride, kind of a roller coaster to ride around here so you can take a look at all the different attractions. I like the, the tops of these domes look nice with the water flowing over them. But yeah, I've been busy here doing a little bit more work. Uh, I think that's what the, the design is going to be for the, um, the, the wall, uh, keeping the water out. And uh, what I've done here is use these waterlogged half slabs to hold the water that will keep the sugar cane alive. And then I'm going to grow those taller manually, obviously just placing it all by hand. But uh, yeah, started to work a bit more on the uh, floor here. And this is just sort of a framework. I think I'm going to add some of the dead coral, uh, let, you know, let it die. So it'll be the, the gray color, which I think would be a nice bottom. Use some of this prismarine as well and some different sands and uh, got to fill in glass and you know fill in all the cracks before I fill this up with water and uh, yeah just once again the water line is going to be just up at the very top where the floor of my office here is this is going to be right where the water 
line is. So this will be the top of this aquarium, and I'm going to fill it all with fish and dolphins and squid and probably not uh, guardians. <laughs> it's going to be a friendly place uh, with coral reefs and all kinds of fun stuff. So that'll be fun. Uh, but I should leave it here, and I'll get to work, and you can see the progress next time, hopefully. And hope you've enjoyed. Um, until next time. I will see you soon. Hope you're having a great day wherever you are. And love you guys. Bye-bye.